Yes, um, I'm doing audio signal processing using Haskell and LLVM. And uh, many talks are about removing bugs. <laughs> um, I do the opposite and create bugs. also do music and control it uh, as it runs. Okay, uh, it works. <laughs> uh, okay, why I am doing signal processing using Haskell? Um, I did signal processing uh, in the past without Haskell and functional programming, uh, but when I got to know Haskell, I found that uh, what I was doing in an imperative language is essentially doing functional programming. Why? Uh, in uh, signal processing, you often think in such uh, flow diagrams, um, where you create, yeah, uh, where you create uh, some signals and then uh, combine them. In this case, it's a very simple sound. I, I create a tone and I create an uh, amplitude control and then I uh, control the amplitude of this tone according to this curve, for instance. And you can translate this literally into functional code. I have done this here. Here you see the amplifier takes these two signals, this one uh, and this one as input. Okay. Um, okay. Um, further on, Haskell has, has uh, many uh, features such as a strong type system. It's purely functional and it is lazy, which means that you can do uh, the stream processing. You can work with uh, infinite, infinite long lists, for instance. Okay, but uh, efficiency is not the primary goal. And this is where LLVM comes in. I use LLVM in order to produce efficient code. I also use uh, factor instructions a lot but uh, LLVM is certainly not intended for having a strong type system. Um, and what I use of LLVM is the just-in-time compilation, which allows me to transparently use LLVM code in my Haskell code. That is, I write Haskell code, which is actually not run by Haskell compiler or, or by the runtime, but instead it is uh, run by LLVM. Okay, I stick to this example. If I program in Haskell directly, I would translate this expression. Um, I would uh, uh, translate this one into a lazy infinite list and this one into a lazy infinite list, which is possible thanks to lazy evaluation. And then I combine these two lists using uh, an element wise multiplication. This is works, is nice and is slow. And what I want to do is take the same expression and interpret it differently with a so-called uh, embedded domain-specific language that is 
I do now interpret um, these terms this way. Uh, this exponential curve just provides LLVM code, IR code, and the oscillator as well, and the amplify function assembles these code blocks and uh, creates a code block for the whole uh, effect. Okay. Okay, I had to solve some more um, detailed problems. They are certainly not so much of interest here. Um, I'm bitten by a bug <laughs> um, of LLVM. Maybe I can uh, find some LLVM developer here who can <laughs> explain it to me. It's about nesting uh, empty uh, structs a lot, which happens uh, the way I assemble the code. Okay, how much time I have? I could also but simply stop here. Hmm? Uh, one or two minutes. One or two minutes. Okay, I use uh, vector co uh, instructions a lot. And uh, in uh, signal processing, I often, often have the case that I cannot simply um, replace um, a, a bunch of scalar instructions by a vector instruction but instead I can only reduce it to a logarithmic number of vector instructions. Uh, uh, most things I have read about automatic vectorization uh, seems not to handle this case. Maybe I am wrong, please correct me if I am. <laughs> um, but I think those kinds of algorithms make auto vectorization more complicated. Uh, I, to give you an idea, the cumulative sum, um, you see, I have uh, a vector of four numbers and I want to uh, take the first number, then add the second, then uh, add the third one, then the fourth one. Okay, this can be disassembled in some vector instructions. Oh. For instance, I uh, take the original vector, this one, and move it one element to the right, and then I add it, and then I take this result, move it two elements to the right, and add them again, and then I have the cumulative sum. There's a whole lot of algorithms that work this way. Um, you can see in this case, it wouldn't be faster, but uh, as the vector sizes increase, it would be a benefit. Okay. And, and uh, even if not, uh, the auto vectorizer can handle such uh, optimizations. I would be interested where to put such an implementation of Kumsum into the LLVM order of parses. Currently, I do it directly in Haskell, but maybe it could also be an instruction lowering parse or maybe an optimization parse. I don't know. I would discuss with the experts. Okay. Thank you.